Hey guys, it's Dorian. Today I'm going to go through MX Linux with you guys. It's uh, It's been around for about three years. It's well polished based on Debian and uses the XFCE desktop with some customizations of their own. It came about with uh, the Anti-X or Antix OS distribution and Mepis, which is actually pronounced Memphis. It was a typo, and I guess they just went with it. That's what I got from the quick history lesson I gave myself on it anyways. So these two distros came together, MX, right? MX Linux, with the latest being MX17 Horizons. So this is it here running in a virtual machine. It's a very nice light DM login screen. And I'm just going to log in here. This is, of course, running in a virtual machine as usual and just wait for things to load up here so you can see it's nice and clean it uses a panel on the left side here as a desk bar and has the system tray down here with built-in auto updater uh, all the usual features of xfce are here so i'm not going to go too much into detail with the XFCE part of it. Uh, they use Conkey here, which is nice, gives you a little little information here. And you can see it's only using 327 megabytes of RAM loaded up. Uh, comes with the Firefox browser, Thunar file browser, and nice little menu here. So if we go to the control panel, you can see they've got the this is the XFC control panel with the usual uh, software settings for various things in XFCE, but they also have their own MX tools. There's MX tweaks. There's a lot of little things that they've added here. So you've got a NVIDIA driver installer, codex installer, uh, MX tweaks. So just some... Uh, theming sets and you can choose which compositor you want to run which I think is pretty neat and then um, other things Conkey they also have their own package installer let me just go in here the package installer is uh, divided up into category which is pretty neat uh, it also has a search function and they've got their own repo with multiple servers around the world, which is quite handy. And of course it uses the usual Debian repos as well. Their user manager is pretty easy to use. You wanna make a new user, you just start typing it in, hit apply, you wanna change password of a user, it kinda of grays out everything else, you wanna delete a user account. I'm not gonna delete my own. Uh, and then several options here. That you can click through. So that's pretty neat. It uses Thunar to manage the desktop. So you can actually create folders and have icons here. Uh, really, really good on, on resources. And you can see in the task manager here, we've got quite a few things running, but all lightweight things. Of course, the, the VBox clients are running because this is a virtual machine uh, settings desktop the notify system which pops up here in the corner for network disconnect uh, volume change etc so very light runs very nice very smooth this is perfect for old hardware or you can you can also throw it on new hardware and it'll run really really fast so it's quite impressive their community is quite active. If you go on to their website, mxlinux.org, go to support and forum. They've got their forum here with tons of sections here for whatever you need. It's fairly active. I see a lot of uh, posts from the last, from today and yesterday and from the last week. So good place to come here and get some help. And of course it's based on Debian. So you know it's gonna be nice and stable so you're going to have all the benefits of Debian and all the benefits of XFCE as a nice lightweight desktop. You can see it came out of the box with 
the virtual box drivers, the screen resizes. I haven't tried the shared folders, but I would assume that it'll work. And it comes with a great selection of software already installed. Uh, Conky is very nice. It has LibreOffice already installed and they have their own section here for boot repair and live USB maker and all the little extra bits of software that they've made to really add to the XFCE environment. So for something relatively lightweight that works really well, nicely polished, uh, MX17 is a really good choice. All I've done is just install this in a virtual machine and you can see it's using just over four and a half gigs of hard drive space and 600 megs. I've got Firefox open here, but uh, about 350 to 400 megabytes of RAM with nothing open, which is really nice. Just be aware that like any other distro, uh, as soon as you start turning things on, so you go into the MX tweak and you know, let's turn on Compton. So you're going to have transparency effects and whatnot, but your RAM usage is going to go up, which is to be expected. The more that you do, the more that you add, uh, the more RAM you're going to use. But if RAM isn't really an issue for you, then not really an issue. So that's pretty much it. The installer is fairly straightforward. Uh, like any other distro, you go through the usual partitioning, etc. Nothing stood out that made things difficult or super easy. It's fairly standard. So if you're looking for something lightweight, XFCE desktop is great. Debian is a super stable distro to use as a backbone. So give MX17 a try. Do a bit of customization if you don't like it the way it is with the desk bar on the side. You could set it up however you want. You can move everything around. I guarantee you'll think it's pretty nice. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. And feel free to stop by my Patreon page if you're feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching. Till next time, bash on.